Thinking in Systems, by Danella Meadows is a book about systems thinking and the power of understanding complex systems. Some of the key points from the book include Systems thinking is a way of understanding and analyzing complex systems, which are made up of many interconnected elements and processes. Systems thinking requires a shift in perspective, from seeing the world as a collection of isolated parts to seeing it as a network of interconnected systems. Systems are often characterized by feedback loops, where the output of one part of the system affects the input of another part of the system, leading to either reinforcing or balancing feedback. Complex systems can exhibit unexpected behavior, such as nonlinear relationships and tipping points, where small changes can lead to large and sudden changes in the system. Understanding systems is important for addressing complex problems, such as environmental degradation, poverty, and inequality. Solutions to these problems require a holistic approach that takes into account the interconnectedness of different parts of the system. Systems thinking can be applied to a wide range of fields, including ecology, economics, public policy, and management. It can help people make better decisions, anticipate unintended consequences, and design more effective interventions. Systems thinking is a lifelong learning process that requires curiosity, humility, and a willingness to think beyond one's own assumptions and biases. One of the key concepts in systems thinking is leverage points, which are places within a system where small changes can have a big impact. Meadows identifies 12 leverage points in systems, ranging from changing the goals and mindset of a system to altering the structure and rules that govern its behavior. The behavior of complex systems is often nonlinear, meaning that small changes can have disproportionate effects. This can lead to unexpected and counterintuitive behavior that is difficult to predict. Systems thinking emphasizes the importance of understanding the boundaries of a system, and recognizing that systems exist within larger systems, or systems of systems. This helps to avoid narrow thinking and encourages a more holistic perspective. The book discusses the importance of resilience in systems, which refers to the ability of a system to absorb shocks and adapt to changing circumstances. Meadows argues that resilient systems are characterized by diversity, redundancy, and flexibility. Systems thinking encourages a focus on long-term thinking and sustainability, rather than short-term gains. It emphasizes the importance of understanding the full life cycle of a system and the consequences of its actions. The book also addresses the limitations of systems thinking and the challenges of applying it in practice. It acknowledges that systems thinking requires a lot of data, time, and resources, and that it can be difficult to communicate its insights to decision makers and the public. Systems thinking emphasizes the importance of understanding the underlying structures that govern a system's behavior. These structures can be physical, such as the infrastructure of a city, or social, such as the norms and values that shape human behavior. The book discusses the role of mental models in shaping our understanding of the world and our actions within it. It argues that our mental models are often flawed, and that improving them through systems thinking can help us make better decisions. Systems thinking requires a multidisciplinary approach, drawing on insights from a wide range of fields, including ecology, economics, psychology, and sociology. It encourages collaboration and the sharing of knowledge across different domains. The book emphasizes the importance of learning from feedback, both positive and negative. It argues that feedback is essential for improving the performance of systems and avoiding unintended consequences. Miado. W.S. identifies a number of common traps that can hinder systems thinking, such as narrow thinking, resistance to change, and overconfidence in our ability to predict the future. She offers strategies for overcoming these traps, such as reframing problems, seeking out diverse perspectives, and experimenting with small changes. The book concludes by emphasizing the need for systems thinking at the global level, to address challenges such as climate change, poverty, and conflict. It argues that systems thinking can help us create a more sustainable, equitable, and peaceful world. Systems thinking can help us recognize and address the unintended consequences of our actions. Often, we focus on solving one problem without considering the wider impacts of our solution. 
Systems thinking encourages us to look at the bigger picture and consider the long-term effects of our decisions. Meadows emphasizes the importance of seeing systems as dynamic, rather than static. Systems are constantly changing and evolving, and our understanding of them must evolve too. This requires ongoing learning and adaptation. The book argues that systems thinking can be empowering, as it encourages us to take responsibility for our actions and recognize our role in shaping the world around us. It also helps us see that small actions can have big impacts, which can be motivating for individuals and organizations. Systems thinking can help us address the root causes of problems, rather than just treating the symptoms. It encourages us to look for underlying patterns and structures that contribute to a problem, and to seek out leverage points where we can make meaningful change. The book emphasizes the importance of communication and dialogue in systems thinking. It argues that we need to be able to share our ideas and insights in a way that others can understand and that we need to be open to learning from different perspectives. Systems thinking can help us develop a more compassionate and empathetic approach to problem solving, as it encourages us to see problems as interconnected and complex. This can lead to a more collaborative and inclusive approach, where diverse voices are heard and valued. Systems thinking encourages us to be mindful of the interconnections between different parts of a system. It emphasizes the importance of seeing the whole system, rather than just focusing on individual components. Meadows argues that systems thinking can help us develop a more ethical approach to problem solving, as it encourages us to consider the impacts of our actions on others and on the natural world. It emphasizes the importance of fairness, justice, and sustainability. The book acknowledges that systems thinking can be challenging and complex, and that it requires a willingness to embrace uncertainty and ambiguity. It emphasizes the importance of curiosity and a desire to learn, as well as a willingness to make mistakes and learn from them. Systems thinking can help us recognize the limits of our knowledge and understanding. It encourages us to approach problems with humility and a willingness to learn from others, rather than assuming that we have all the answers. The book emphasizes the importance of systems thinking in creating more effective and efficient organizations. It argues that systems thinking can help us understand the dynamics of organizational behavior and identify opportunities for improvement. Systems thinking can help us develop a more holistic and integrated approach to problem solving, where we consider the impacts of our actions on multiple stakeholders and on the broader system. This can lead to more effective and sustainable solutions. Systems thinking encourages us to look beyond linear cause and effect relationships and to consider the complex feedback loops that shape a system's behavior. It emphasizes the importance of understanding the dynamics of these feedback loops and identifying APO. R-T-U-N-I-T-I-E-S to intervene in the system. The book argues that systems thinking can help us develop a more nuanced understanding of complexity. It encourages us to embrace complexity and to recognize the limits of reductionism in understanding complex systems. Meadows emphasizes the importance of identifying and understanding the leverage points within a system. Leverage points are places within a system where small changes can have big impacts. Systems thinking can help us identify these points and make strategic interventions to achieve our goals. The book argues that systems thinking can help us create more resilient systems, capable of adapting and responding to change. It emphasizes the importance of building resilience into our systems, rather than relying on rigid structures that are vulnerable to failure. Systems thinking can help us recognize the interconnectedness of different systems and the potential for unintended consequences when we try to change one system without considering the impacts on others. It emphasizes the importance of taking a holistic and integrated approach to problem solving. The book acknowledges that systems thinking can be challenging, but argues that it is a crucial skill for anyone looking to make a positive impact in the world. It encourages us to embrace complexity and uncertainty, and to approach problems with curiosity and a willingness to learn. Systems thinking can help us develop a more strategic and long-term approach to problem solving rather than just reacting to immediate problems. It encourages us to think about the future and to consider the impacts of our actions over the long term. 
The book emphasizes that systems thinking is not a one-size-fits-all approach, but rather a flexible and adaptable framework that can be applied to a wide range of problems and situations. It encourages us to use systems thinking in combination with other tools and approaches to achieve our goals. Systems thinking can help us recognize the power of feedback loops in shaping a system's behavior. It emphasizes the importance of understanding the dynamics of these loops and identifying opportunities to change the system's behavior by altering the feedback structure. The book argues that systems thinking can help us develop a more holistic understanding of the world, one that recognizes the interconnections between different systems and the potential for unintended consequences when we try to change one system without considering the impacts on others. Meadows emphasizes the importance of recognizing the limitations of our mental models and being open to new perspectives and insights. Systems thinking encourages us to challenge our assumptions and biases, and to be open to learning from others. Systems thinking can help us develop a more collaborative and inclusive approach to problem solving, one that values diverse perspectives and recognizes the importance of working together to achieve our goals. The book argues that systems thinking can help us create more sustainable and equitable systems, by encouraging us to consider the long-term impacts of our actions on the environment and on social justice. Systems thinking can help us develop a more proactive and preventative approach to problem solving, rather than just reacting to immediate problems. It encourages us to anticipate and address potential problems before they become crises. The book emphasizes the importance of recognizing that complex systems are often characterized by nonlinear, unpredictable behavior. It encourages us to embrace uncertainty and to be willing to adapt our approach as we learn more about the system we are trying to change. Systems thinking can help us recognize the potential for unintended consequences when we try to change a system. It encourages us to think carefully about the potential impacts of our interventions and to consider alternative approaches that may be more effective. The book emphasizes that systems thinking is not just a theoretical framework, but a practical tool for addressing real-world problems. It provides a range of practical tools and techniques for applying systems thinking to complex problems. Systems thinking can help us develop a more nuanced understanding of causality one that recognizes the importance of feedback loops and other complex dynamics in shaping a system's behavior. It encourages us to look beyond simplistic cause and effect relationships and to consider the wider context in which a system operates. The book emphasizes the importance of taking a system's approach to problem solving, rather than just focusing on individual components of the system. It encourages us to think about how different parts of the system are interconnected and to identify leverage points for change. Systems thinking can help us develop a more flexible and adaptable approach to problem solving, one that recognizes the potential for unexpected outcomes and encourages us to be responsive to changing circumstances. The book argues that systems thinking can help us create more effective and efficient systems by identifying opportunities to streamline processes reduce waste, and improve the overall performance of the system. The book highlights the importance of understanding the boundaries of a system when trying to understand its behavior. A system is defined by its boundaries, which determine what is included within the system and what is excluded. Understanding these boundaries is crucial for understanding how the system operates. Systems thinking encourages us to think about the goals and objectives of a system and to consider whether these goals are aligned with our values and priorities. It encourages us to question whether the current system is serving the needs of all stakeholders, or whether it is benefiting some groups at the expense of others. The book emphasizes the importance of taking a long-term perspective when thinking about systems. It encourages us to think about the potential impacts of our actions on future generations and to consider the long-term sustainability of the systems we create. Systems thinking can help us develop a more holistic understanding of human behavior, one that recognizes the role of social, economic, and cultural factors in shaping individual and collective behavior. It encourages us to think about how different systems interact and influence each other and how we can leverage these interactions to create positive change. The book highlights the importance of engaging with stakeholders and communities when trying to understand and address complex problems. 
It encourages us to listen to diverse perspectives and to incorporate these perspectives into our problem-solving approach. Systems thinking can help us identify and address systemic inequalities and injustices. It encourages us to question the status quo and to consider alternative ways of organizing society that are more equitable and sustainable. The book emphasizes the importance of learning from feedback and using this feedback to refine and improve our problem-solving approach. It encourages us to be open to new information and to use this information to adapt our approach as we learn more about the system we are trying to change. The book stresses the importance of systems thinking and managing risks and uncertainties. It encourages us to take a holistic approach to risk management, considering the interconnections and feedback loops that can lead to unexpected outcomes. Systems thinking encourages us to think about the long-term impacts of our actions, both positive and negative. It encourages us to consider the potential unintended consequences of our decisions and to take steps to mitigate these risks. The book emphasizes the importance of systems thinking in promoting sustainability. It encourages us to think about the environmental, social, and economic impacts of our AC tie-ons and to consider how we can create systems that are resilient, adaptive, and sustainable over the long term. Systems thinking can help us identify and address root causes of problems, rather than just treating symptoms. It encourages us to take a comprehensive approach to problem solving, considering the underlying structures and feedback loops that contribute to the problem. The book highlights the importance of taking a collaborative approach to problem solving, engaging with stakeholders and communities to build shared understanding and ownership of the problem and potential solutions. Systems thinking can help us identify and leverage opportunities for positive change by identifying leverage points within a system. These are points where small changes can lead to significant shifts in the behavior of the system as a whole. The book emphasizes the importance of continuous learning and improvement in systems thinking. It encourages us to be open to new information and to use this information to adapt our approach and improve our understanding of the system we are working with. The book highlights the importance of understanding the dynamics of systems, including the feedback loops that can lead to amplification or dampening of system behavior. It encourages us to think about the potential unintended consequences of our actions and to take steps to mitigate these risks. Systems thinking encourages us to consider multiple perspectives when analyzing and addressing complex problems. It emphasizes the importance of being open to diverse perspectives and incorporating these perspectives into our problem-solving approach. The book emphasizes the importance of taking a systemic approach to addressing social and environmental issues. It encourages us to consider the broader impacts of our actions and to think about how we can create more equitable and sustainable systems. Systems thinking can help us identify and address wicked problems complex problems that have no clear solutions and are difficult to define. It encourages us to take a more iterative and adaptive approach to problem solving, experimenting with small changes and learning from the results. The book stresses the importance of communication in systems thinking. It encourages us to develop clear and concise language for describing complex systems and to use visual tools to help communicate these concepts to others. Systems thinking can help us identify opportunities for innovation and creativity by encouraging us to think about the potential impacts of our actions on the system as a whole. It encourages us to experiment with new ideas and to learn from the results. The book emphasizes the importance of taking a systems perspective when analyzing data and making decisions. It encourages us to consider the broader context and interconnections that can influence the behavior of the system. 